I'm starting out on movie thoughts, and you are going to see see my thoughts on a movie that was not released in, on VHS, nor DVD, nor Blu-ray, nor 4K Ultra HD, and it's not streaming on Netflix or Amazon Prime, nor Disney Plus, and it. And it's on YouTube. This is Don Marie Lily's thoughts on Miggy's Destiny, the first SMG4 movie ever made. Oh man, I'm so excited for my overall thoughts. I've not seen SMG4's second movie, the 10th anniversary special, so I'll watch this and I'll put my thoughts on it later. Anyway, we got Miggy's backstory that was never explained before prior to when she met Mario. But it was that fateful day. She had been warped into a paint can and and was transferred by the Mushroom Kingdom paint transfer and it was the day he met the red spaghetti grave wall inspector ex cheater Mario but in the end she was really thankful because of him they had some good times together but and and she had made so many friends along the way 2019 was a rough year for Mickey. It was the day of Desti's tragic death. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, oh my god. Where was I? Anyway, on to the plot itself. Besides Mickey's backstory, we had the final day of training, and the big tournament was going to start tomorrow. However, it was the elimination contest, and Mario, Luigi, and Mickey were eliminated, and Tari wins. But hey, can you believe it? How would it be the only movie that Tari wins in an active competition? But, if that's the only movie that has to deal with active competition, then why not? Tell me if I'm right there. There starts to be a pre-competition party over at Miggy's old apartment where she used to live when she was growing up in Inkopolis. And, why don't we get to be get this over with okay anywho on the day of the final Splatfest I guess I'm gonna have to count the timeline just because I have to get the events accurate why is so called thought my thoughts on team killer Inc why the first competition gone well but um it didn't end well my thoughts on the aftermath of the first day of the final Splatfest, it was a bit off because, um, Miggy was just normal beating up. And she's not gonna, like, like, ban hammer someone. But after the fight, though, this, um, I thought that Miggy was going to be disqualified. And she will never win. But, however, on the second day of the final Splatfest, um, we'll get to that later. Mickey tries everywhere she goes, but, um, actually, she's getting discriminated by the law just because she's human and Inkopolis won't allow humans anymore. That was disappointing. But I'm glad she moved out instead of going to going to 
to human prison. But we see our current Mickey meet up with our past Mickey, which I thought a time travel connection and link, but um, that wouldn't happen, no. since it was only just a dream. Or just a nightmare, I thought. She fought. But the day of the second Splatfest, we go ahead and we see... We see four teams go up and eliminate Squidwards. The least amount of Squidwards, and they wouldn't be out. But if, but if they splat the most amount of Squidwards, then they will make it onto the final round. The final round is a turf war, but we'll get to that later. But it was then that the Splat Squad realized it wasn't their fault that they were losing. The Ink Brigade was cheating. Mig even thought it was her fault, but it's not. She's kind of insecure, though. Just... Uh, she had no idea. When we thought Miggy didn't know about anyone cheating, we thought about the running gag, cheating is a legitimate strategy. You'll see in my future car show episode. Let's give you a preview. Right before I film this. But are we about done? Well Miggy should have swallowed her pride as she fought. But, um, she thought the Ink Boy is useless, but Mario found out something fishy. The Ink Brigade was cheating. I knew it. Just on a later Dream or Nightmare sequence, I guess, um, present Miggy meets up with the past Miggy again. And then, um, yeah, the, the, the Desti who's getting scribbles for reasons it's unknown just because um thinking okay on to the final splatfest itself the third round we have splat squad go against killer ink but it was then we had thought the, the splat squad might lose again and mickey would never never win but the results were final the splat squad has finally won but mickey has finally won after years of failing she has done badly in the past but it wasn't that they've done that she done badly in the past it was that other teams tried to make her lose stop moaning you Don Lily fans at least I have became a better channel and my voice is getting deeper after years of cringe don't watch my old videos they're crappy we move on after the final Splatfest we see Miggy's trophy large but it got smaller when it comes to moving out, I guess. You'll have your say. But, um, Miggy decided to walk away and, um, she just wanted to say goodbye to her former rival, Desti. And she wouldn't be seeing, seeing Desti again. And Desti would not appear in future episodes. If this movie was released on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K Ultra HD, then it would be rated PG-13. Unlike old SMG4 episodes from the past, from 2011 to 2017, rated TVM. I need to get these ratings straight. But my overall thoughts... Thailand Claude Scruggs was revealed the same day as Mickey's Destiny. 
I'll be celebrating its own fourth anniversary in the next four years because Leap Day is not in the next until the next in the next four years. I guess um correct me if I'm wrong there because I just can't tell. My overall thoughts are Lightning McQueen, move out the way. We have gotten a new champion. And Miggy Splitzer is our championship winner or so. At least she only won the final Splatfest in canon. Just because this was her last chance in, in total Splatfests. You have your say. That is my saying on, on that. So, overall, my thoughts on Team Killer Inc. was, meh, I used this movie just because to get Mickey in her night sequences, not explaining her backstory. If you've seen one of the DML series, new series, you know that I used one of it, one of its footage as, as Mickey's nightmare, as in Mickey would get scrapped since she lost the competition. But that wouldn't happen in my series, though. Mickey is kind of a good character, yes. I'll show you my individual thoughts on Mickey Spletzer soon. Overall, I give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. Why, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment to, to make me do another Q&A and I'll read your comments again. But counting the comments I already pre that I already read previously wouldn't do that over and over so yeah feel free to subscribe to keep track of my channel but expect a wait in when it comes to premieres anyways this is Don Marie Lily slash Todd Marcus 123 signing out